Hello, it's Dreaded Entity back with another Barotrauma video, and this time I'm here to show you guys the number one cardinal sin of sub making. You don't want to know what it is? You guys take a guess? Write in the comments, and I'm going to show you right now. Click on the fabricator, and that's all you get. Terrible. This is this is terrible. This is contrived. This is created difficulty. This is garbage. I'm going to show you how to fix it. Okay, so before we even begin editing, uh, this is the Remora. The, this has the cardinal sin. The fabricator is not linked to anything. It's terrible. Um, first thing you guys got to know is you're going to have to decompress your save file. I have already made a video showing how to do that. So if I remember, hopefully I do, I'm going to post a card up in the top right corner of the video. So click on that if you haven't seen it. To show you how to decompress your save file so you can edit it and one thing that i didn't mention in the video that is is going to be important is you're going to have to copy the sub from your save file and put it in your main sub folder so you can edit it okay and this is how you do that remember you need to go to your steam library folder in the barrow trauma game and the submarines folder this is where your subs go so what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to copy your sub from your save folder and drop it in here and then uh, I think you have to actually close the sub editor and then reopen it before it shows up in the list. I don't know why. So I got the humpback version too. This is a sub that I'm working on. That's how I got that in here. Okay. So now how do, how do you fix this? So what we're going to do here is let, let's zoom in on the uh, engineering room and all we have is the fabricator and the deconstructor. Now uh, there's not even storage in this room. So whoever designed this would really was not being very friendly to the engineers. Um, remember guys, when you design a sub, there's people that are going to be using this and I, I don't know about you guys, but if, if, if the storage isn't linked, if there's not even storage in the room, I'm not going to fall in love with your sub. So take that as you will. Maybe you, you might want to incorporate this. So let's see. Um, you're going to have to move some stuff around here, but I don't want this to turn into like a general sub editor tutorial. Let's, let's keep it on topic. So let's go down here and let's resolve the first issue. There's no storage in this room. So just type in uh, <laughs> cabinet, can't spell because I'm on video, obviously. Um, and then we're just gonna drop it in the room right there. And there we go. Now, I'm sure you guys can see all of these little green lines coming out of the oxygen generator. They go to the vents. They are linked as you call it in the sub editor. And we're going to do the same thing with this large steel cabinet and the fabricator and it's really easy to do all you're going to do is click on the fabricator so it's selected hold space bar and then click on the large steel cabinet and now you notice there's a new green line that is showing that they are linked now what if you if you just save it right now and you run this what's going to happen is the large steel cabinet does not show up okay but we want it to show up right now. It, it is linked and it will pull materials from the cabinet, but it's, it doesn't show that it's linked. So all we're going to do is come over here, down here to this little checkbox, display side by side when linked, click that your line turns purple. And now what this means is when you click on the other thing, anything that is linked that is checked will also open its, its UI. So now, I've, what I've done is if I save that and then we test it, let me just go ahead and test it now, actually. Okay, we're down here in engineering and here's our fabricator with our new large steel cabinet. I just click on the large steel cabinet. It opens up like normal. That's to be expected. Now, the real magic here is you click on the fabricator and ta-da, look at that. Now we got storage. Easy, right? Okay, so when I discovered this, I actually went to the sub editor and I checked every single vanilla sub and there are only two that come uh, with the fabricator pre-linked to a storage cabinet. And that is the humpback, AKA the God sub. It's amazing in every respect. And the R29. I I've never used that sub before. I've never even seen it before until I loaded it up in the sub editor. But it's funny because they don't have a medical fabricator at all on the sub. Now, let me show you how to fix that too. It's exactly the same. Click on the medical fabricator, hold space bar, Click on the cabinet next to it and then click on the cabinet and click that little checkbox display side by side when linked. That's all you have to do. 
right? It's easy. And now you see what I mean about the contrived, created difficulty. I guess that's redundant. They mean the same thing. When you look around here and you see everything on the sub that's linked together just to make the sub work, and they couldn't do this, click that and hold spacebar and then click this. This, they, they did it on purpose. And it's, it, it's like they're, they're not expecting actual people to use this sub. And I don't know about you guys, I'm just not gonna fall in love with your sub if there's no storage in the fabricator. I mean, let's be real here. Anyway, I hope this video helped you guys. Oh, oh, <laughs> before I go, um, refer back to my previous video where I showed you guys how to decompress your save file. You are now going to have to take your sub out of this folder, right? So say, you know, this was the Remora 2, right? Take your Remora 2 or whatever sub you're using, and then you have to drag that back into your save folder that you decompressed and then follow the rest of the instructions from the video there. So cool. Then when you load up the game again, you will have a linked fabricator and probably medical fabricator because why wouldn't you? You're already in here. It's easy. Anyway, I hope this video helped you guys. If it did, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more Barrow Trauma content because I'm hoping to make plenty more videos. Anyway, it's bye for now, and I'll see you guys when I got more tips.